Welcome to another whiskey tasting slash, nah, it's not a review, it's just tasting. We don't review, we just drink whiskey. <laughs> now, if you want reviews of the whiskeys that I do, there are plenty of websites that will do a great job of taking them apart and telling you everything they find in them and uh, giving you tasting notes and things like that. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is talk to you about how I taste, um, even at what I would consider to be an advanced intermediate amateur level, even though um, I've, I've had a lot of whiskey. <laughs> and I'm a nerd, so I take a lot of notes. But um, this is an example of the kind of thing we do in class. Now, I'm talking about these two whiskeys because these two were donated by the same person, Chris Howell, uh, one of our favored alumni, um, donated both of these to the Whiskey Vault after he had attended a class just because he wanted to contribute, which by the way, you can do as well. Uh, hint, hint, wink, wink, nod, nod. Um, instead of comparing Talisker to Talisker or Talisker to Scotch or Colonel Taylor to other bourbons, I'm just gonna compare the two he sent us and side by side. Now, this is an example of what I talk about you can do at home. You don't have to have a nine deep spread of Scotch or a, a nine deep spread of bourbon to to practice tasting. You can just have the two bottles you have at your house. Just pour one of each in a glass, right? With friends, it's more fun, but you know, you can do it alone as long as you have high self-confidence. Um, you, can, you can pour one of each and then just go back and forth trying to figure out the differences between the two. It'll highlight the things in bourbon that aren't in scotch. It'll highlight the things in scotch that aren't in bourbon. It'll uh, Here's a great one. It'll do a great job of teaching you the difference between the effect of wood on whiskey and the effect of smoke and peat on whiskey. A lot of people get those mixed up, right? Now, my usual example is that because the brain is built for imagery and phonetics, uh, <clears throat> if you're trying in any whiskey to discern between smoke or wood, the effect on that whiskey. If you think of smoke as having sharp edges and wood as having round edges, sometimes that helps me. Now, depending on how you taste or what you find, you may find that to be different. But I seem to notice that when I taste a dramatic, powerful flavor, but it has round edges, then it's usually the wood that's affecting it. And if I taste something that's really dramatic and has sharp, pointy edges, it tends to be smoke. That's just something that I use. Take it or leave it if it helps you. All right. Now, let's pour a little bit of each. So this is Colonel Taylor, E.H. Taylor, small batch. This was a gift from Chris Howell. This is from the Buffalo Trace Distillery. It's good stuff. Actually, they just released a new one that's a weeded um, bourbon that I'd really like to try. Maybe we'll do a video on that sometime after this. So that's the Colonel E.H. Taylor bourbon. This is Talisker 18 specifically. Now, I am biased in favor of Talisker because I tend to prefer Scotch whiskey um, and I really love Talisker. So it's going to be hard for me to, to lean towards uh, Colonel Taylor. If Tom Fisher, our friend from bourbonblog.com were here, he would be the guy who could, who could do this one justice. But, you know, if you don't try, you never achieve. So... Talisker 18, Colonel E.H. Taylor, small batch. I'm going to start by just smelling both of them because you're not living if you're not a double fisting. <laughs> All right. Now that is the scotch. And wow, that's the bourbon immediately. So remember, bourbon has to be at least 51% corn. And corn tends to be much sweeter than a malt barley only whiskey which is what single malt scotch is, right? So if you're trying to blind taste these, you know, switch them around, pretend like you don't know which is which. The first one you pick up and go, wow, that's much sweeter. You, you, and oh, there's smoke. Well, that's not hard. Uh, it would, this would be a very beginner level whiskey comparison tasting to be able to pick out bourbon and the scotch, but it's still a really great tool and it's helpful for when the differences get more subtle. So I'm gonna try the Colonel Taylor first. Now, small batch, um, this is 100 proof. This is 50% alcohol. Talisker 18 is, where is it? It doesn't say on here. It should say on, there it is, 45. So 46, 45.8. So 46 and 50. Close enough that 
it shouldn't be that huge of a difference from alcohol alone. But now notice the color difference, if you can, or should I say almost lack of a difference, that bourbon whiskey. Nice and rosy. Young wood, first time use. Bourbon has to be first use wood. Uh, scotch has to be uh, previously used. Ooh, that is good. So that small batch, even for being 100 proof, is really mellow. Now, because I got in through the gateway of scotch into whiskey, I tend to find bourbon um, often too aggressive in, in the wood flavors. But when I find a bourbon I really love that's just kind of, it's subtle and that's one. Man, I could, I could drink that Colonel Taylor all day long. As a matter of fact, when I'm done with this video, I just might. Okay, yeah. Now I remember why I leaned towards Scotch. So that Talisker 18, ah, oh, it's just, it's just magical. Now keep in mind, I smoke cigars all the time and I've been smoking a pipe since I was 17, 18, as far as my parents are concerned. And uh, so I'm used to, I really love smoke. I really love the smoke flavor and Scotch just, it just gets me with that smoke flavor. Every bourbon I have, no matter how wonderful it is, and man, I've tried some really wonderful bourbons. As soon as I get a whiff of the smoke and peat in a whiskey, I just feel like I'm home. And so it's kind of, it has my heart and uh, I can't really help it. So I'm not going to apologize for it. But man, that Talisker 18 is really magical stuff. Um, now Talisker is Isle of Sky, and it is usually pretty smoky. The, not as much as like a Laphroaig or a Ardbeg or a, um, even a Lagavulin or a Kalila, but, um, but it is going to be more so than a Highland, you know, uh, like a Dalmore or, or um, oh, a Dalmore. Mm, I could be drinking Dalmore right now too. All right. Man, I dig that Talisker. So what I'm picking up in Talisker is that smoke, but it's subtle. I'm picking up age, that 18 and the previously used barrels. It just brought a lot of rich life to that one. Now the Colonel Taylor, I'm gonna go back to it now and instantly already smelling the sweet notes. Oh yeah, it's still good. It's still good. Okay, so if you tend to lean towards sweeter whiskeys, then, uh, man, this is a damn fine whiskey. Thanks, Chris. Uh, I'm leaning towards more smoke because uh, that's just kind of the direction that I had in whiskey. But either way, you're going to have a good whiskey. So thank you, Colonel E.H. Taylor. Thank you, Talisker, for another lovely tasting. Hope that you got something from it. We'll see you the next time. Cheers.